Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, you're gonna go shopping with me at Harbor Freight. So I don't know if you've ever been to Harbor Freight before. If you haven't, you're missing out. I'm pretty sure that it is in every single state, almost every state in the US. So definitely check it out and see if you're close to one. And if you haven't been there, you need to go. It's basically a store that has it all when it comes to tools, supplies, storage, air compressors, just the list goes on and on and on. I can't even list all the things that they have because there's so much. So we go to Harbor Freight at least once a month and there's some things that I get there often and there's actually some tools that I've bought there that I've used for years and years and years. So I'll show you guys some of that while we're there and just take you guys along the aisles and things that can be utilized for crafts and projects and all the things. Um, Cause like I said, there's some really cool things there. So if you guys want to follow along with me, I'm also going to be buying a router today and the one from Harbor Freight looks pretty promising, pretty good. So I'll definitely be buying that and trying it out as well. There's some there's some woodworking projects that I want to do that require a router. So anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get on into this video and head to Harbor Freight and see what we can get into. The paintbrush aisle. This one is great for those foam rollers, brushes, and lots of cheap paintbrushes, perfect for craft projects. Although they used to have these cheaper yellow rollers, but they discontinued them, and those were the ones that I would always get. But my favorite thing here is definitely these staining pads. I always grab all they have, and they last me at least four staining projects. Here you'll find a ton of different ropes and twine. I always pick some of the smaller jute twine up, and it is always a great deal, and it'll last you a really long time. These extension cords are a great deal as well. Us woodworkers could always use plenty. We have several here that we use at home. I have a pair of side cutters I use when my nail pops out of my frame when I don't want it to, so these are great. I personally use this four-in-one screwdriver daily. You can find lots and lots of tools here. They're known for their low-cost tools. Here you can find lots of leveling tools and tape measures. We probably have like 15 of these back when they would give them away for free. This shaping tool is really cool for marking hard to cut angles and shapes. You can't go wrong with a big straight ruler. We use ours often. These utility blades are also a great deal here. I use mine all the time. These magnetic trays are so perfect for all of those little sewing needles, small screws and bolts, and anything magnetic. This is a great deal on some double-sided mounting tape. I picked up some to give it a try. Painter's tape is a must around here. I use it often. I like to always have some punches in my shop for if I have a nail that popped out of the frame and I have to cut it down. I lightly punch the nail back into the frame, but not too hard or it'll put a hole into the wood. Did you know that they have some great weeding tools here? Perfect for vinyl. I use mine all the time and they're great quality. Need a hand truck for all those packages you lugged to the post office? They got you covered. I have one that I used all the time. Here is the rolling cart that I bought to attach the miter saw to. These are great for putting anything heavy like heat presses, cutting machines. You'll just need to add some wood to the top. You'll find so many organizational bins here. I was looking at those clear ones for my craft room. If you want to make a pegboard for your craft room, they have all the little hooks and things you need here. This is where I got all of mine and I ended up getting the set here. Here was the very first plywood rip guide that I bought and it did excellent for many years until I purchased the Craig one. Here are the routers and we ended up getting one to be able to up my frame game along with making wood rounds. I saw that they had a cardboard cutter similar to the one I use here. This is like the first air compressor I got and it's still running great after 10 years and here's the set I have as well. Here's the desiccant dryer we got for our laser and it works amazing at keeping the water out of our lines. 
And this is the nail gun that we've had for like 12 years to make wood signs and it still works to this day. Can't beat it for that price. These paint sprayers work great as well. We have the purple one and it paints so smooth and seamless. Of course, we had to stop and eat Chick-fil-A before we headed home. All right, everyone. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully it wasn't too short. I get kind of awkward, you know, pulling out my camera in public and there was like people all in there today. So I felt kind of awkward just like pulling it out and videoing different um, aisles and stuff. So hopefully the video was worthwhile for you guys and you got some craft ideas and project ideas. We did end up buying the router and um, I'm gonna be testing it out tomorrow once my um, circle guide and things like that come in the mail because there's like I said, some different projects and things I'm wanting to do. So when all that comes in, I'll be trying that out and maybe I'll do a video for you guys that want to see that um, in terms of woodworking. If you want to make your own rounds, I'm going to be showing how to do that and um, some other things like how to make frames flush into the signs. Just a lot of different things like that. So that's on the list of things to do. I did get all my regular stuff as well as get some ideas for organization because I am now officially started on turning my um, shipping room. It's going to be a shipping room kind of converting it into a shipping room. So right now it's just basically storage. All we have is all of my t-shirts and blanks and a bunch of other stuff that doesn't even need to be in there. It's just a mess in there right now. So the plan is I'm going to get a big table in there and I'm gonna make it a shipping room. It's gonna have all my shipping supplies in there. So I'll take you guys along that whole process. But I got some good ideas for some different bins and things that I'm gonna be going and purchasing once I measure the area and figure out exactly how many I need. But yep, it was definitely fun shopping today and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this style of video, let me know because there's a whole list of places that I go that I get supplies at all the time. Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, um, Dollar Tree, all kinds of places. So if you guys wanna see more videos like that, let me know and I can totally take you guys along with me and share the things that I recommend from different places because like I said, I've been doing this for a while and there's definitely a lot of products that I've tried out that I don't like, that I do like. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it or just hanging out with me, even if you don't have Harbor Freight near you and you just wanted to watch me shop, thank you for watching and for the support of my channel. It means so much to me. So if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.